Hey everyone, Kevin Oxen here, and I want to answer a quick question today. Question is, is it possible to insert a Word document or a PDF file or whatever into one of the nodes in XMind? And the answer is yes, and yes, but kind of not really. Let's talk about this a little bit. When we're looking at inserting something into XMind, we really just come down to two choices. We can either link it or we can copy it in. Let me give you a rundown of each of these options. The link is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to create a link from here and link to the actual document. I'm going to just minimize this a little bit here. And you can see I've got a document already. I called it one doctor rule them all just to be a little cheeky. Okay, let's head over here and I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. I'll change the size of this, make this a little like this. Perfect. Uh, now I'm going to grab this. And now I have my XMind set up so that it's going to ask me every single time that I pull it in. And I'll show you how you can modify how it, whether you link or copy or, or whether it gives you an option. But first of all, we're going to try the link. I'm going to just drag it onto the link one. That's right. It's going to give me a line below that. And it's going to say, how do you want to do this? Do you want to link it or do you want to copy it? Do you want to remember? Right now, we're just going to link it. So now what I've done is I've taken this and now this is actually just a link back to this document that I have on my desktop. That's all it is. So I can go in and I can modify this document on the desktop. You know, I can just open up here. I don't have anything inside it. I just had a little stuff in there. Hello. And when I save it, now if I close this and head back and I can use this link, it'll open it up and I'll see everything that's been changed. So that's a neat feature. The other option we can look at is to copy. And copy is exactly what it sounds like, right? We're going to take this. And I would almost consider it a save as. I'm going to grab this in. I'm going to hover over copy. And I'm going to say link or copy. We're going to copy this time. And now what it's done instead, now you can, I'll just click on it here. It says hello. I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, all right, I'll put whatever. You're nice. Okay, we'll save that. We'll close this just, just to make sure everyone's crystal clear on what happens. I'm going to go back to the one where I copied, open it up, and you can see it only keeps what I had when I pulled it in. So the option for a copy, it's fine if you want to copy. Uh, what you have to do though is you need to delete this and then pull it back in again. Whereas the link, if I click on the link, it shows the changes we've made. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. The downsides to link though are that if I ever want to share this, if I want to share this with you and I save it and I email it to you, the link's not going to work on your computer obviously because it's a link through the file system in my computer. The copy will work. So you've got to kind of pick and choose what you want to do. For me, what I've found, and I've experimented with a few different things, is I use a third way. My third way isn't anything that's secretive or anything else. It's I use notes. And so I've gone in here and I actually just took the spelling words for my daughter, Eva, and I've added them to this. So I can see I've got a bunch of words in here. And that way, this is all saved as just plain text. If, you, if you're copying files in and there's a lot of images, it can make the size of your files quite a bit bigger. When it's saved as notes, it looks ugly because it's just plain text. But when you're done, what I would recommend is keep everything in plain text. When you're ready to move on, when you're ready to move to that next step and finalize something, just control A, you copy it, you, and then you move it into Word. So I would go over here, you know, open up this document, come down, and I can paste in all the information, then I can format it and do whatever else. So I, I would just try and save the formatting to the last step, keep everything in plain text, and that way it just everything seems to work smoother. I want to show you quickly how to get this set up. So if you want, and I put preferences, drag and drop, it's actually you need to go into edit, then go into preferences, and then it's in the drag and drop drop down right here. And this I can specify saying every time, every time I pull something in to XMind, I can make it link. Or every time I can make it copy. And I have it set right now to ask me. I don't use this very well. I don't drag and drop much into XMind. I just mostly copy and paste and drop it into a note. Hey guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any other questions regarding visual mapping or time blocking or productivity or whatever else, if you got a headache, let me know. Fire a question off to me and hey, I'll see what I can do. Till next time, guys, I am Kevin Oxner. And remember, when you look at it, it just makes sense. See you next time.